Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me this week. I'm planning from April 18th to the 24th and I'm using this kit from Scribble Prince Co called Farmer's Market. This week I decided to try something a little bit different um, from what I do every week basically uh, just because I decided that over the weekend I was going to complete all of the spreads in April which I did but it was start starting to get a little bit monotonous and I wanted to switch it up just a little bit just to see how I felt about doing white space so I did decide to try oh and here I am messing with my light source just because it's really hard for me to see what I'm doing at night with the lighting situation at my desk but I decided it just looked really bad on camera so yeah don't worry that's that's all I did and we're done messing with the light but as I was saying I tried doing some white space this week just to switch it up and because I've seen other planners including one of my favorite um Samantha Plans do it and it looks so good when she does it just because she has like perfect handwriting and I don't know she's got it down to a science but I don't and I don't hate it like it's decent but my handwriting is not the best it's not terrible um but I also have a lot of trouble writing straight I'm definitely the type of person who needs lined paper at all times so writing without a label to sort of use as my guide was a little difficult and there are definitely certain spots where I'm writing directly on the paper and it's very lopsided, so I don't love that. Um, I might dabble with white space again in the future, but uh, I have to be really careful with my handwriting, especially because when I write, I write on an angle and everything looks great, and then I turn the page to face me and I'm like, oh, that's not cute. Um, as far as my sidebar goes, while putting down my full boxes, I didn't realize in time that I didn't have a third box to put on the side, the sidebar, just because you, uh, you do get additional boxes with this kit as a freebie, but I didn't want two of this hand holding a tomato, especially because I don't really love the boxes with the hands. I think they just look kind of weird most of the time so I definitely didn't want two of them so I decided to try using a weekly checklist um and I definitely don't love it I used it to mark my workouts and I think it's ugly so we're gonna try to not do that again I did finally look at some uh comments and saw some ch suggestions about what I should do with my sidebar and I will try different things I do though have I believe two or three spread, uh, two more spreads already filled out. So I obviously can't go back in time and try something new with those. So those are going to be same old, same old. But after that, um, I'm going to try something else with the sidebar. Not anything crazy. It's pretty much going to look exactly the same, but like just other info to put in the boxes besides just double exposing something I did this week. <coughs> anyway. Starting with the day by day, um, the first thing I did on Monday was uh, just feel anxious and I marked that with this little munchkin head from a freebie and just marked that I was feeling anxious again. With this emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. at a, a laptop, I marked that I worked. Then with a squared off box and an emoji at a desk freaking out over papers, I marked that Joe came over to pay his taxes just because his internet was out um, and I think they were do this day or something i don't know but he came over to pay his taxes with a movie marquee from the kit and this popcorn deco i've had from some kit leftovers i have marked that we watched the movie x which was okay it was honestly like i was expecting more let's just say that i thought it would be more texas chainsaw massacre and less like a parody sorry if you can hear janet she's barking at the scratching post um and now she's jumping on it. Anyway, um, yeah, it was okay. I mean, it was sort of entertaining, uh, but I, I don't know. I thought that the main villain of the movie was like, it was like a mix between a parody of Texas Chainsaw Massacre and that movie, The Visit by M. Night Shyamalan. It was, I don't know. I would give it like a five out of 10, maybe. Like not the worst, but definitely not the best. 
Moving on, under that I marked that I did a puzzle with this munchkin from Once More With Love. Then with a munchkin head, I marked that uh, Joe and I were freaking out over air flights. We kept on putting off buying our tickets uh, because people kept saying like, oh, well, the price will probably go down. But then the price kept going up, so we were just getting like frustrated with that. And then the final thing on Monday with a little munchkin on a treadmill, I marked that I ran the using the C to 5K or yeah, um, app. Moving on to Tuesday, the first thing I marked with a fancy label and this munchkin. Looking at a phone in bed, I marked that Joe and I... Oh my God, I'm so sorry if you can hear her. She's going insane. Um, uh, Joe and I woke up super early because usually... I mean, this is what the internet says. It could be a lie. We're not seasoned travelers, but supposedly Tuesday morning between the hours of like 5 a.m. and 9 a.m. or whatever, tickets are the cheapest. So we woke up really early and FaceTimed while buying tickets and the the... Uh, flights, the price did go down by like $100. So that was cool. So we booked the flight and I just used a little heart icon to mark that. Then under that with a little thing and this laundry sticker from Papershire, I marked that I did my laundry. I also washed and changed my bedding this day. So I used this GP Studio sticker to mark that. Then with this, uh, I think this is from like an old Scribble Prince Co. kit, this vacuum. I marked that I vacuumed and sanitized the carpets. With a little thing and a credit card left over from a Glam Planner kit, I marked that I paid my insurance. And then the final thing on Tuesday with this um, denim deco, I just marked that I posted some items on like Mercari and Poshmark that I wanted to sell. Moving on to Wednesday, the first thing I marked with a little thing and this clock icon that is definitely not the correct shade of blue, but I don't know. I used it. I marked that I got up so late this day. I know. I know. I don't even need to mark it anymore. You know I got up late. With these glasses from a Glam Planner kit, I marked that I finally ordered my contacts um, with a laptop. Uh, I think this is just from like a variety sheet. I marked that I worked. And then with a the fancy label and this Sticky Perks um, UPS truck, I marked that I walked to the post office. With an emoji at a laptop, I marked that I started backing up my old laptop, which I still have to finish. It was It's one of those tasks that like is pretty easy, but it's very time consuming. So I, I don't know, I couldn't get my, um, my uh, USB to like, oh my God, she is going crazy. I just couldn't get it to work properly. So I have to revisit this task. Um, it's taken me years to do it. And now it's probably going to take me another year to finish it. With this flat lay from Papershire, I marked that I had a rest day this day. So I didn't have to feel guilty about not working out because I actually had it like planned to not work out. <laughs> Moving on to Thursday, the first thing I marked with another clock icon, but in a different size, again, doesn't match. I marked that I was up late again, of course. Then with this Murdoch Talks or Blackbeard Prince, I think both of those shops had these desks and that's why I always get them confused, but one had them in multicolor and one only sold them in a pink sheet. Uh, I marked that I worked with a little thing. Oh my I'm not redoing this. I'm sorry about the cats in the background, but I got to get this done. With a little thing and this Olive Studio Olive pumping iron, I marked that I worked out. Then with this Carly Plans litter box, I marked that I cleaned the litter. With a squared off box and this Fox and Pip sticker, of these gal pals going for a walk, I marked that... Um, my roommate and I walked to Aldi to do some grocery shopping. Then with this gaming emoji, I marked that I played Toontown with my mom. With a toilet from Papershire, I marked that I cleaned the bathroom. Moving on to Friday, the first thing I marked that I actually was that I got up at a decent time this day, and I used this little Rise and Shine munchkin to mark that. With these weights from Carly Plans, I marked that I worked out. With this giant old school like a Macintosh uh, monitor I marked that I worked and this is also from some sort of variety sheet with these sneakers from the GP studio I marked that I walked three miles and then under that with these emojis having like coffee or something together I marked that I went to a coffee shop I walked to a coffee shop and met my friend there and we got chai lattes and then, uh, and that, like, she's the one I went on a three mile walk with. Um, and then under that, with this munchkin having some bathroom issues, I marked that I almost shit my pants. 
<laughs> we were about a mile and a half deep into our walk and I just got like the urge um, and I just made it back to my apartment in time. Like I had to walk over a mile to get back home. And then as I was about to walk into my building, I see my roommate getting home from work and I like waved at her like I get first dibs on the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, fun times um, with an appointment label and this little puzzle from Paper Crown Prince or something, I think. I never remember. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I marked that I did a puzzle with a little thing and a tiny little planner from the same shop. I marked that I started, I'm using it as a book. I need more tiny book stickers. I have a lot of huge stickers of like characters reading, but I need just little tiny books to mark reading. Um, but anyway, I marked that I started the book Billy Summers by Stephen King. It was okay. I didn't love it. Uh, with an, uh, another working out olive, I marked that I worked out with a little thing and another one of these munchkins holding their stomach. I marked that my tummy was still feeling a little weird, um, but I was okay. With an emoji in front of a laptop, I marked that I worked. With a flag and this munchkin putting on makeup, I marked that I actually put some effort in my appearance this day. With a half box and these emojis um, out on the town, I marked that uh, I got dinner and drinks with my roommate and it was really nice to actually be like in a cute restaurant and have a cute drink and it was just a very aesthetically pleasing evening and then the final thing on Saturday I marked with this Xbox controller and a happy munchkin I marked that we finally finished Outlast 2 we have been playing this game for years and we had to restart twice because we lost our uh, game file but we finally finished it mm, didn't love it Moving on to Sunday, the first thing I marked with this makeup sticker from Once More With Love was that I messed up my makeup. I'm just really out of practice. I'm getting a little bit better at least like everyday makeup, aka concealer and mascara, but like putting any effort in, I keep messing up just because I'm really not used to it anymore. With a little thing and this gift box I've had from, I think this was left over from a monthly kit, I marked that I had to pick up a gift because i um, Joe and I were supposed to go to a birthday party together, but he was sick all week, so um, I had to go by myself. So I had to pick up the gift. Excuse me, I just burped. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, with an olive driving, I marked that I had an hour and a half drive to get to this house. It was out in, like, farmland, like, deep west in Philly. In Philly, Pennsylvania. Um <laughs> And then uh, under that, with this birthday munchkin head, I marked that I went to the birthday party. Um, we have uh, two friends who adopted, or actually he might just technically be a foster child who they're going to adopt, but it was their foster child's birthday party. So um, that is what I went to. With this tired emoji, I marked that I was exhausted. Then with a fancy label and these lovey-dovey munchkins. I marked that it was pretty much the first time I saw Joe all week because, again, he was really sick and he didn't want me to ca catch whatever he had. Um, and, like, I did see him for five seconds when he came outside with a mask on and just, like, handed me the gift. But, um, yeah, I after the party, because uh, we just didn't want to risk me getting sick and then me getting, like, other people's children sick. That's why, like, um, I didn't see him beforehand, but like once the party was over, who cares if I get sick? So then I saw him for the first time all week. Spoiler alert, didn't get sick. I need to stop saying spoiler alert. I hate when people do that and I do it and it's stupid. I need to stop. So whatever. I didn't end up getting sick. Okay. And then the last thing in this plan with me was that we started the new Batman movie and I used this Batman emoji to mark that. And just the other things on my sidebar that I marked was that Joe was sick all week. So was, and I, I didn't really mark that in my plan. So I didn't feel like it was just like a repetitive thing to mark. And I used this six day sticker from the GP studio. And then with this pumpkin paper Cotera and a little spring outfit, I marked that it actually felt like spring this week. There were definitely chilly moments, which I guess is part of spring, but um, the weather was pretty nice, so that's another reason why I used this kit this week, because um, 
yeah, I don't know. I felt like it was appropriate for the weather. But yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of this white space spread. I don't know. I, I'm going to try it again, maybe. I think I didn't do it as well as I could have. But anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.